<laughs> Alright. G'day homesteaders. Um, today we are going to officially test the Wagner Control Pro 250M. It has the word Pro in it. So the idea is this should be a professional level machine. It definitely has all the markings of a professional gun, all steel parts, some plastic like the lock or the back of the handle, but mostly it's all metal. Uh, and Wagner is famous for making their sprayers. So, from what I remember of watching YouTube videos yesterday, I put the, the nozzles, uh, both the uptake nozzle and the return nozzle, that's the return nozzle, uh, into the liquid. At this point it's water. The cat is really interested for some reason. Do you like water? Maybe. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Once the machine gets turned on, I'm sure you'll lose interest. Or you can drink some now. It's fresh. <laughs> uh, it'll be a different story in a few minutes. So what I want to do is I want to put the uptake hose into this fresh water. Uh, and then spray it through the gun and then when I can see that the water is spraying through the gun then I can change to paint and then spray paint through the gun. The thing is because the hose itself is nine meters long that means there's going to be nine meters worth of water in this hose which I probably want to spray back into the water container and then when the paint starts coming out I put that into the paint. Um, at the end of the process I want to empty all nine meters of paint out of the hose and put that back into the container too so we don't have to waste anything plus i hate to imagine what would happen if you didn't clean the hose out and the paint hardened inside this hose you might as well buy a new one and it's not a normal hose it's a um high uh, eight millimeter airless or wireless maximum pressure 1600 psi uh, the PSI in my bike tires is about 55. Oh, Jamie. <laughs> All right. I'm sure he'll move once the machine gets turned on. Uh, so, yeah, this is very high power. Uh, and there's also a warning that comes with this. Uh, it says that if you blast yourself uh, with a tip, with this tip, you could actually cut yourself uh, because of the high pressure and inject paint under your skin. And that paint could go into a vein or anywhere. You absolutely would have to go to a doctor. Uh, there's no question about that. That's why you have to play it really safe with these high pressure machines. Uh, and always make sure you keep the, the guard on the tip. Uh, and you really could slice yourself up or, or cut yourself or even damage uh, some of the other things just by getting too close to them. You leave the protective guard on and always be conscious of which direction your paint is flowing. That's going to make a big difference too. All right, I haven't used the system before, but as I said, what I saw online was, first of all, you press the little red button three times for some reason. <laughs> Priming is down. All right, if you could come around here a bit. Uh, priming is when you're pointing it down. And then I guess active is either of these directions. <laughs> okay, down. And let's see. I'll turn it, uh, all right, I'll take the lock off the gun, put it on one. Yeah, there it is, can you see that? Uh, I guess that builds the pressure up inside. Uh, I want to spray it out of the gun because I guess that was meant to be part of it as well. Ooh. <laughs> Let's try that again. All right, I'll put it on two. Looks like that's working. Um, I'll put the tip on. All right, 
right, homesteaders. <laughs> Should I say homesteaders? Honey? You the silent partner? Come on. What about cottage rebuilders? Cottage rebuilders. Or something. Anyway, um, uh, I have to mix the paint. I'm sure Jamie doesn't want that anymore because now it's been through the machine. Uh, this is the cheap ass paint uh, from uh, Feta. Anyway, because he's got two stars out of five, so it's not going to be the thickest paint in the world. But luckily, we bought the Wagner machine, which means we don't have to thin the paint out. We just have to make sure it's thoroughly mixed. So this is how it comes. Uh, sometimes they suggest if the if the paint is cold, you can put a cup of warm water in there and mix the cup of warm water in. Uh, I don't know how cold it is or isn't. Is that a bug or something that fell in? Mm -hmm. All right, gross. Take that out. <sighs> Quality. Um, I haven't opened this before, but anyway, I'll mix it up. I'll start nice and slow. pretty consistent. Uh, there's a filter in the end of the Wagner and there's a filter in the handle of the, the spray gun. So I don't think I have to put this through pantyhose or anything like I saw those Russian guys doing um, unless the paint quality is really bad. Mind you there was a fly in it or something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's see what happens with the Wagner machine. I've got to prime the pump again get rid of the water out of here and get paint going into the machine. And in order to do that, I've got to switch. Feels weird to put these big hoses in the paint bucket, but that's what you're supposed to do. At this point, I want to spray back into the water bucket. It's in the prime position. I'll put it... That's it. So in that position, it stores up the maximum uh, PSI and then just sits there. So it doesn't make sound. It's kind of nice. It's actually a quiet machine. Remember the last video? It was awful. It was so loud, even when I was just trying to change the paint buckets, it was super loud. Uh, so with this tip, I start it facing in towards me. I'll tighten it. Okay. And then I turn the key around the other way. Have a look what's happening in the tip. So I turn the key. Oh shit, <laughs> I'm not near the trigger and the lock is on. Uh, so that's the, when I'm emptying it out, if there's a blockage and then I turn it and that's the ready to paint spray. You can see it's sort of a flat edge. We did buy the little wand that goes with it because every professional online was using the wand. And also I didn't want to get on top of a ladder to paint the ceiling. So you can, whoops, you can imagine <laughs> the wand makes all of it much, much easier. Maybe without the wand, I'd be able to paint the ceiling, but I wouldn't be as confident going longer distances. So with the wand, I'd be more confident having a more consistent line, which is what it's all about. All right, so I'm gonna start over here. Um, I have not done this before. 
So if I squeal like a stuck pig or something, I probably did it wrong. Safety first. Achoo! All right, I got new glasses the other day. So I don't want to get paint all over them. Okay. All right, lock is off. Let's see what happens. how you saw it on the video. Huh, that's pretty cool. And you can see it's already drying. That's the tricky bit. My drip behind there. is even. It's a heavy coat. It really works 360. sort of stopped having pressure for a second and it sounded like a vacuum cleaner. Uh, yeah, I just turned it off, uh, checked it, primed it again, uh, and everything's working again. So I'll do the last part. It looks like I'm going to run out of paint. But um, we'll try to get this room finished, at least this bottom portion. Uh, definitely this part has always needed to be repainted. The only problem is we can't see the white on white. So it's hard to tell if you've done too much or not enough. <laughs> as long as it's not running, I guess it's alright. But yeah, we'll use the rest of this paint uh, on this room here. Sounds like techno. <laughs> still tricky because it wants to always curl up in a ball so it has to be very very far away from your paint and far from the walls so it doesn't touch it but it does touch the walls a little bit and it's a little frustrating you've got to keep a handle on where that hose is going otherwise the paint itself is good and the spray is good maybe the quality of our paint wasn't so good we could have strained it first but otherwise we haven't had any real hiccups Very little overspray. It's very consistent. I'm coming up. Hopefully this toilet paper stays where it's supposed to.
<laughs> I, I took off the lance because now I'm in a very confined quarters and I really don't have the opportunity to use the lance without bumping stuff or hitting my elbow on something else. The hose does touch the wall a bit if you're going up these staircases and things. It would be good if you had an offsider or some sort of workmate who could take care of the hose and make sure it doesn't touch the wet work. Otherwise, uh, it'd be pretty tricky to do by yourself. Anyway, now I'm down to the last portion. Just the top part here, that door. Um, and hopefully this is all done before the paint runs out. Yeah, that looks pretty good so far. Uh, quite consistent and I guess it should be even easier now without the lance there should be less overspray not that there was much very very little overspray but still check this out okay start here So we finished the job and it took about two hours to paint this hallway and this sort of entrance room uh, repainted everything painted over the old paint job the only hard part was that the painting white on white we, I couldn't really see exactly where I was painting and also that the lights were switched off and I had to use daylight so there was no internal light so I couldn't really tell where I had painted or not painted otherwise I think it came out pretty well very solid and the sound of the machine is quite good quite reasonable there's nothing um, too tricky about it but I think a couple of times it might have gotten uh, clogged or blocked and you can turn the nozzle and spray it for a second and it will unclog and otherwise I think that the Thinning the paint does help. So at the beginning we just stuck the hose straight into the bucket and after about, I don't know, 20 minutes there was a point where it sort of started to sound like a vacuum and it just went whirr and stayed on. Uh, and then so when I checked it, turned it off and tried to check everything, it looked a lot like um, the, the paint, if it's a bit thinner and then you mix it with the uh, drill so that it's very uh, consistent. Uh, then after that the paint job went on very very well uh, it was a little tricky here uh, in the hallway because with the lance on the end you can kind of see with a with a 40 centimeter lance you're very close to the wall and so it's a little bit too close but then only using it without the lance would have been difficult to reach any of these parts that are high up here and this is really where the lance came into its own you could really paint above your head uh, and I had no problems painting all of these nooks and crannies. There was a bit more overspray than I expected but I think that's because I'm just learning how to use the the device. Painting, I mean uh, getting rid of the overspray is not too difficult but next time I would cover the whole surface so I don't even have to think about the overspray. Yeah it's very consistent and it covered up a lot of cracks and holes and uh, it came out pretty good. We did spend a lot of money on it. We spent more than double the amount we had on the first, uh, what was it called, Euro? Aeromax. Aeromax <laughs> 4000. Uh, I was very disappointed with the Aeromax 4000. <sighs> very disappointed. It was the worst time I ever had painting ever in my whole life. Uh, and it took two or two and a half days to paint one room. It was just stupid. I mean, it was really stupid and it was on too thick and it was running. Oh, it was a real nightmare. Uh, after that, using the Wagner and paying good money for the Wagner, uh, almost 500 bucks. Uh, it's a professional machine and we're going to keep using it. And we're going to take it with us to Ireland. And we're going to be using it on our other house over there. Because this is the kind of machine I think we're going to be able to use for quite a few years to come. Right, Pops? All right. I recommend it. All right. <laughs>